I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we will discuss about joiner transformation in IACS. Okay. So to perform joiner transformation, we have taken two sources. Uh, one is from our database. Okay. And another shared source I have to, to taken as a flat file. Okay. And in in one of my previous video, I have already told like uh, how to create connection and how to load data from flat file to uh, in IACS. If you haven't watched that video, please go through that video once. Okay. So if that would help you a lot to understand this case. Okay. So it, uh, if uh, what I have done, I have taken connection as a flat file. So if you see here while taking your connection as a flat file so what you need to do uh, like whenever you are importing your connection from a uh, flat file so by default the, uh, this data type will come as a string okay in that case you have to go to this option metadata edit metadata option and there you have to change corresponding data type okay you can go through my previous videos so that uh, you can better understand okay now so i have taken these things now if you see here after that i have taken my joiner transformation so whenever you are taking your joiner transformation so in iacs we are having master and detail tables okay so here if you see i have taken employees table as master and uh, department table as detail so this is not a good thing why because uh, always you have to take uh, that uh, table which is having very less data in your master table okay that is very good um, best design practices in iacs okay why because uh, the table which is you are selecting as a master that is getting stored as a cache okay and the detail table will get joined to that master table and will fetch your data so that's why to get better performance you have to take the data uh, the table or i can say the source which is having less data as a master okay so let me change this first so uh, I'm, I'm a re removing my source uh, employee as a master and detail let me delete this in this way you can delete and here I am taking this as a ma master let me connect it why well, it is not getting connected in this you have connect to connect because department is having very less data okay and we can uh, uh, connect our uh, uh, employees as in detail okay now so we have discussed about master and detail now let us go to this joiner okay once you are getting connected to this joiner you can change its name instance name also now these are your incoming fields okay so here if you see uh, it is showing renamed bulk prefix so in case uh, there is some conflict between the naming convention if you see here all incoming fields are included by default you can configure the uh exclude or include or exclude we can do we can uh, provide some prefix with your source table i have provided some prefix here also okay so i have done these things okay now let us go to main thing join condition okay before going to join condition let me show one more thing so as i already told uh if you see here null or uh, cache directory it is showing okay so in cache what it will do it will store your data of master table okay so if you see it is here null ordering in master null is highest value null ordering in detail null is highest value as i already told in my previous video always by default null is treated as highest value in a database or every, everywhere if you want to change it from here you can change it also okay now let us go to join condition so in join condition you can you can only perform equi join it means you can only perform equal operation okay you cannot uh, perform any not equal to or anything okay second thing uh, if i go to master so snowflake provide uh, sorry is provides four types of join normal join master outer join detail outer join full outer join now master join uh, sorry normal join mainly works as a i can say that inner join okay now if i talk about master outer join so what this master out, outer join will will do it will work as a i can say that if you are selecting the table or source which you are selecting as a master it will not in, include data uh, in your target table it, it means you can say that uh, like uh, uh, suppose you are having table a as a master and table b as detail what it will do it will only consider the records which are matching between uh, a and b in case any of the record are of a is not matching to b 
what it will do is it will exclude those records of a okay it means master outer means master exclusion as you can say that okay so because if you compare it with the database in database what if you see left outer join so what, what is left outer join let us let me try to go to a notepad file okay that would better explain let me open that let me open my notepad file so so uh, let us talk about master router join okay master router join what it will do suppose you are having table a in master okay it is having recorded as 1 2 3 okay and if you take table b as your detail table it is having a record as 1 2 3 uh, let let we not include 4 5 6 so if you perform master router join so what would be its output value its output value would be 1 2 4 5 6 it means it will exclude 3 okay I hope you are getting my point so it's I can say if you compare it with database it's a reverse that thing okay so if you are performing suppose detail outer join so in case of detail outer join your output would be one two three only okay so it will uh, if uh, if you are taking master outer join it will it will take all the matching records with detail and exclude non matching record of master outer join okay so uh, I have selected this master router join here you can see these conditions let me save it okay and let me validate it why it is showing some invalid field mapping from not existing incoming fields okay uh, let us check it here target fields I already refreshed this. Okay. Okay. I think department name is okay. Now let us go to field mapping. Let me remap it. Okay. Clear mapping and smart map again. Let me run it now. So in this way, you can perform master outer join, detail outer join, and uh, full outer join. But in as I, I already told you, uh, master uh, like jo uh, in joiner condition, you can perform only equal operation. You cannot perform not equal to or greater than a operation. Okay. Now second thing, uh, joiner transformation is always active and connected transformation okay so let us go to my job it seems it got completed okay so if you see if you see it has loaded around 107 record from department table it has taken uh, 30 records and from employee table it has taken 107 records so uh, in the target what uh, how many records it has loaded it has loaded it has loaded 107 records so here what we have done we have selected department table as master okay and employee uh, departments as a master we have selected and employee as detailed so what it have done it have taken all the records from detail table okay so if you see uh, in our mapping what we have taken we have taken uh, departments table as master okay and employees table as detail and our joiner condition is master router join so in case of master router join it will take all the records from detail table okay so if i change it to uh, if you see let me change it to another join condition let me change it to uh, detail outer join okay 
let me run this i think it's i should to reexecute this restart this it's a very simple join condition but uh, uh, it's a little bit important now one suppose uh, uh, till the time my mapping is running suppose you are having three sources okay one is oracle another one is flat file and third one is snowflake okay so in that case how many joiner transformation would be required for you okay so in that case what would happen there would be two joiner uh, uh, transformation would be required okay so you can say that n minus 1 joiner condition would be required okay now if suppose you are having so one source is or uh, one data is coming from your oracle and another data is coming from oracle okay itself from the same database and uh, third uh, data is, is your flat file okay so in that case how many transfer joiner transformation would be required for us in that case uh, only one tra joiner transformation would be required why because thus uh, i can say that the because two tables are coming from same source in that case what will happen so uh, from there what we can do we can use source transformation and after that for flat file we can do joiner okay so if you see let us go let me go to how many jobs if it is successful so maybe this is the uh, master uh, detail outer join full outer join we have already discussed so far so that's all from this video thank you